I'll just say I'm, I was happy the way Hamels pitched. He gave us a lot of a lot of innings and the innings we needed, and uh, he did a real good job. Giles there in the eighth got the first two outs pretty easily. Yeah, that was disappointing. I mean, he he's uh, he pitched he threw pretty well, and you know it's unfortunately uh, Chuch called timeout and, and with that pitch on its way, and uh, we had Gomez struck out, which was tough, but uh, that happens, you know. Why? Yeah, why? Well, part of holding a runner, you know, Braun was on first base. Part of holding a runner is varying your delivery to the plate. And uh, Braun's the kind of guy that will try to time the, the, the pitcher uh, in, into, uh, you know, so he can get a jump going into second base. And that's part of it. You know, you, sometimes you come set and you pitch. Sometimes you count to count to two and you pitch. And sometimes you hold it a little longer. And he just held it longer than Chooch wanted him to, basically. So he call timeout, you know. As a manager of a young team, if a Kenny Giles comes into your office kind of shaking his head after this one with the multitude of things that happened, what do you tell him? Well, you know what, he, I think he knows what he did to the, you know, what he did. He made a couple of bad pitches uh, after, after that. But Kenny's done so well for us, and he's, part of, he's going to be a part of the future. So, you know, you just got to keep him positive, pointing in the right direction. As you said, it's a young team. And uh, mistakes are going to be made, and and uh, I'll never I'll never criticize a pitcher for making a, a mistake with a pitch that he threw. You know that's part of the part of the game. Did he let that affect him though emotionally? I, it's hard to say. You know it, it, he may have, but uh, I don't know. You know regardless of whether he did or not, um, I still <laughs> I still have a lot of confidence in him, and uh, uh, he's going to be good for us down the down the road. Did Chooch do the right thing, or in that case maybe? He, oh, too, should be focused on the hitter. Well, you know, you also have to be concerned about the runner. You know, you you might say that he, he shouldn't have done that, but uh, I don't have an issue. I don't have a problem with it because, you know, if you don't pay attention to that runner and he he uh, gets a jump and steals and gets a scoring position, then uh, you don't want that either. So um, I don't I don't have an issue. It, it happens. You've seen we've seen it happen before. You know, uh, um, it's just one of those things. You know. With uh, uh, Mike Franco, are, are, are we seeing now more of a baseline of what we should expect from him in terms of ups and downs? Uh, he got so hot for you know a week, and people were obviously excited about it. You guys were excited about it, but it's going to be a game of adjustments, I know. Well, you know what? When you when you really think about it, most hitters there's very few that are constant throughout the season. Uh, most hitters are streaky to a certain degree. They get hot, and then they have a little bit of a he go into a little bit of a funk, and he's no different than anybody else. And he's he's still you know he's still learning, and um, as I said the other night, sometimes he gets too big with his swing, tries to do too much, which is normal for anybody. I mean, even veterans do that sometimes. Um, so it's you know I, I expect him to continue to hit and, and to get better and better as as we go along. So I, I will not say that uh, um, you know he's just going through a little bit of a lull. You know. I'm a, I'm, I like the guy. <laughs> <laughs>